If you haven't seen part 1, please go and watch this one first. Additionally to part 1, where we modded this meter so that it starts up right in DC and also we increase the counts to 10,000 count. What was not done yet is increase the range. So far this meter cuts out at 100 amps. If I measure a current larger than 100 amps, it shows overload. But I found a fix for that and I will show how it's being done in this video. Also a beginner friendly way. <laughs> and yeah, we can measure up to 1000 amps when we're done with that. And also the NCV function, where you can sense wires in the walls, for example. We can improve it a little bit because right now if I press the select button nothing happens. If I take the meter where I already did the change, you can see if I press the select button I get a actual voltage reading or millivolt reading. So depending on how far or close we are to some electromagnetic fields, the reading changes. So that is very useful um, to find wires in walls. Well, let's start and open the meter up first. Uh, I will leave the battery compartment closed because it's not really necessary to open it. It's enough if we just open these two screws here at the top and the bottom of the meter. And then we have the large advantage that we can actually try around playing with the chip and then quickly close it and it switches on and we can see if the hack worked or not. And if not, we can do some more corrections. So as shown in the last video, I will now uh, connect the the clamp again to read the chip. By the way, this mod with the thousand amps it only works for a chip called DM1106. That is the latest one. The earlier model, yeah, they're not supported by the thousand amp range. So let's clamp this one on here. The red wire again facing towards the dot on the chip. And now we switch it on. Doesn't matter if it's voltage or current. And now let's go to the computer. On this very useful YouTube video from the German YouTube channel here, uh, where I found all the necessary information to do the hack. So let's open our reader. And also let's open the website down here in the links. Uh, if you go to the EEB block and then you search for 1000 amps, then this here comes up. That's the latest one. And here you have it. And now let's uh, plug in our reader. And read. Read a couple of times. Uh -huh, now it's consistent. And now what we have to do, we have to change some values here manually. So in the field 07, Use this window a little bit. In 07, we have to so old and new. So the right value is for the new chip here. Zero 07 is, is um, so zero is here, and seven is here. So this here. That is what we have to change, and it has to be 10.
and then 0, 08 has to be 27. So 0, 8, 0, 8, this value is 27. Then, well, if we write that to the chip, uh, we can already measure higher than 100 amps. But what I also want to do is this one here. So I go to 9C. So 9 is here. And C is here. And in this field, we have to write 0, 02. And then in the field AC, we have to write 1D. So after 9, continues with an A here. And C is up here. So it's this field here. And it has to be 1D. And now we can write to the chip. And let's read again to see if it's, yeah. I took it. Perfect. And now the mod is already done. And I can unplug the meter again. So let's do some testing. And go into the high current range here. And now let's switch on the power supply. We are well above 100 amps. And it continues measuring. It's as high as I can go with the squire here. <laughs> well, one downside of having such high currents going through here, you can see now there's an offset of one amp. Yeah. And we have to get rid of this offset again. And this demagnetizer comes in handy for this task. Yeah, not entirely, but we would have to calibrate this meter if we want to get rid of more of the offset. Sometimes you need a large measurement range of resistance for high resistances. And if I touch these probes, for example, we can only measure up to 20 mega ohm. Then it's, yeah, overload. And if I try it with the modified meter here, well, you can see we are well above 20. So we could measure up to 100 mega ohm instead of only 20 mega ohm. Last but not least, I decided to share some final thoughts on the modded meter as well as a not modded meter with the original 2000 count range as well as some more expensive meters, especially this meter from Benning is quite expensive. I will show the prices on the screen. I will start with zeroing out all these meters and also this one and this one as well. And now let's apply some current. Applying some current, you can take this meter here as a reference, also for the accuracy. And we can already see in the low voltage range, this is way superior compared to all these meters. They only have two decimal places behind the comma. And now here with the stock 2000 count meter, we lose resolution, while here we have still full resolution. Almost as much as with the Gosson Metro hit. <laughs> of course, the accuracy is not comparable, but it's a clamp meter and that measures over a shunt, so yeah. Let me 
so the Gaussian is ranging up now. And now I actually have <laughs> I have the same resolution here with these two meters. But with all the others, yeah, you don't get as much resolution. And now when we reach the 10 end threshold, I have to range up manually to go in a higher range with this meter here. And while doing that, I lose the zero function, but on the other hand side, there was an offset of like 200 milliamps, I think. So it's not that big of a deal. And I could also just stop the measurement, zero the meter, and then start again. But I also cannot go far higher because of the Gossen. It's getting pretty warm here already inside. Yeah, anyways. What do you think? Leave your comments below. And if there are further improvements, please let us all know. And I will try to show them.